Republican David Yancey won a random lottery-style drawing to determine the victor of Virginia's closely contested 94th district race Thursday, ensuring the GOP maintains a narrow majority in the House. After a long-drawn-out election, involving a recount in the court challenge, Yancey's name was pulled out of a ceramic bowl Thursday morning when the State Board of Elections met in Richmond to settle the 11,608-11,608 to tie with Democrat Shelley Simons, but the Republican incumbent may not be seated by January 10, the first day of the 2018 General Assembly session. According to state law, the candidate who loses a drawing can ask for a recount, even if Simons requests a recount. Republicans will likely have a 50 to 49 majority when the House gathers to choose a speaker and vote on committee rules. The fight over Virginia's 94th seat has been particularly intense after Democrats flipped a string of Republican-controlled House seats throughout the state in November, slashing the GOP 66 to 34 majority in the House to 51 to 49. Democrats celebrated victory after a December recount, in which Simons appeared to defeat Republican incumbent David Yancey by a single vote, upsetting the GOP's long-held majority and leaving the House evenly split between the two parties. Yet Yancey's campaign contested Simon's lead of 11,608 to 11,607, arguing that one ballot was improperly counted. A panel of election judges then ruled that the questionable ballot should be counted in favor of Yancey and the tied race should be decided by lottery. Last week, the lottery was delayed after Simons filed paperwork asking the panel to reconsider its decision to call a tie in the race. The judges denied her request Wednesday, arguing they did not find the previous ruling on the disputed ballot to be a clear error or unjust. The right of a citizen to cast a free vote has been secured to us by the blood of patriots shed from Lexington and Concord to Selma, Alabama, the judges wrote in a 11-page ruling. The manifest injustice against which we must always guard is the chance that a single vote may not be counted. On Wednesday, Simons attempted to make a pact with Yancey, offering to accept the results of the random drawing, even if she loses, if Yancey committed to the same terms by 9 a.m. Thursday. Such an agreement would ensure that the winner would be seated when the 2018 legislative session begins. The people of the 94th district deserve to have representation on January 10, and a second costly recount is not in their interest. Simon said in a statement Wednesday, I have no interest in delaying this process, and I hope Delegate Yancey and House Republicans agree. Yancey declined to agree to her proposal, saying Democrats were to blame for postponing the lottery. I have always said I will follow the process laid out in state law, Yancey said in a statement. I am not going to deny myself or the people of the 94th district due process simply because of the unnecessary delays that have got us to this point. The 94th district seat is not the only disputed Virginia House race. Last month, Democrats requested a court-ordered special election in the 28th district race in the Fredericksburg area after more than 100 voters were given wrong ballots, Republican Dell. Elect Bob Thomas beat Democrat Joshua Cole by just 73 votes. A federal hearing in the 28th district case is scheduled for Friday. Jarvie is a special correspondent. Elections Republican Party Democratic Party Virginia 